Hi there folks, it's Jonathan Denwood here from WP Tonic and in this video I'm going to be discussing alternatives to Facebook groups. You've built a community on Facebook but you've got a bit fed up with the restrictions, it's time to move on for understandable reasons. What are the alternatives? I'll be back in a few moments folks. <music> coming back so you've had enough enough of facebook groups the madness the administrative bothers the endless um things always linked to facebook and their craziness and you want more digital sovereignty and more control over your group that you've spent a lot of time encouraging and building totally understandable so what are some of the major alternatives well, like a lot of these conversations that we have with people trying to build membership and community focused websites on the internet, you can place, you've got kind of different buckets. Um, so I think there's the free alternatives, there's the paid alternatives, and there's a third bucket that has its own elements. So let's look at bucket one, free. Free is great, but you normally get what you pay for. And that's very similar to what you got with Facebook groups. So the two main ones, uh, alternative freeze, is Slack and Discord. Now, Slack, I've got a love-hate relationship with Slack big ways. Uh, I use it every day. Would I use it to build a community? I know um, in the areas that I kind of have discussions with. There are some large Facebook groups, but it's more developer types. I really think it depends on your community and their background. I personally would not utilize Slack to build my um, group on, but I do know some te technical uh, based and entrepreneur technical based group. There are some large communities on Slack. So it's totally possible, but I think it's really dependent on your target audience. I, I hate Slack's interface. I, every time I use about 20 to 30% of its functionality, which is really valuable to me. But when I have to do any kind of um, increase my knowledge and do a dive, um, it I, I get frustrated with it, basically. Now, Discord, Discord. Um, got a similar relationship to that. Um, it's totally free. Loads of people use it. It works. I find, uh, to use a bit of English slang here, just find the interface to be a dog's breath. Um, it's, in some ways, it's not, this is subjective. Um, Slack is really puzzling, I find it. Um, Discord, Discord, it's puzzling as well, but it's puzzling for different different reasons. It's really hard to explain. Um, you just got to go and try both. And I think when you go and try both, I think you're going to agree what I've just said, but who knows? Um, so they're the two main, um, I would say. I've got, I want to point it out, I've written a very extensive article with all the links that goes into a lot more options. I'm not going to go into every option that I've written about in the article in this video because I want to. I don't want it to be too long, basically, um, and bore you to tears. Um, so let's get on with it. So what what are the other bucket? The other bucket is paid solutions that are also focused at people trying to build a membership website or community stroke membership. Um, presence on the internet and they're a large group um the biggest SaaS players mighty networks in that um got a love heat with that as well it's it's a typical SaaS product it um it seems great when you initially start building your community but you're you're going to reach a level where you're going to be extremely frustrated and they haven't built any new um functionality on that platform for donkeys a long time they had a big update a year ago um but they are not quick 
and um, I wouldn't say it's a legacy product, but um, they're happy where they are. Um, the main thing that people use it for is the app. Um, you can get app not with the basic, you go with the middle product. Um, it's not white labeled. It has Mighty Networks branding all over it. Um, to get rid of that branding, you've got to go up to the enterprise level, and that's price on request. So that means you're going to be shafted. <laughs> it's, it's going to be bloody expensive. <laughs> that's what that means. Um, they, they take as much, they like HubSpot. They find out how much money you've got through uh, and then um, relieve it from you. Um, that's my opinion. Um the other factor is I think uh, I think having your own app for a very large, strong community, um, normally large, but I've known some smaller, but very, very um, engaged, um, assessantly almost, um, it's probably worth the investment and worth the bother with. But I, I know a lot of people that get sucked into using Mighty Networks because it offered an app and they found getting engagement on the apps been extremely difficult. So was it worth going to Mighty Networks just for that? Probably not, in my opinion. Another one that competes with them is Kajabi. Kajabi was very um, missing the community element. Recently, they bought a startup, integrated it. So they're coming on with it. Is it as uh, mature and full feature rich as Mighty Networks? No. But you also get all the other elements in one Swiss Army knife, Army knife, which is attractive to people, but also has its problems. But that's for another video. Another great option that we really expertise at WP Tonic is Buddy Boss. Uh, Buddy Boss also um, offers a, a, a app solution. Um, it's only for um, iPhone at the present moment, um, and probably for the foreseeable future. Um, I, I think you'd be best concentrating on the core website, which is fully responsive. That will, in my opinion, deal with 90% of your needs. Um, I think it's a great product, as long as you keep yourself under some control. And because you can do so much with BuddyBots, you can go off on a biggie, as I say. Uh, you need to work out what's the key functionality you're looking for, focus on that and utilize it as the great tool it is to build your community on. And don't go on a big bender, as I said. Like I say, I've written a more detailed article that goes into all the, all the options. Um, you'll find the link in the video description underneath. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. It really does encourage me to make more of these videos. Ring that bell. Tell YouTube the right message. I'll see you soon, folks. Bye.